Hello, welcome back. Today we are talking about carnivore-ish, animal-based um, for beginners. So I just completed a month and I wanted to share things I learned about this and what has worked for me and kind of like the basic understanding of it. Um, my little disclaimer, not a doctor, this isn't medical advice, just sharing my uh, my journey and my thoughts on this. So we're gonna talk about a few of the different um, names for this. Um, <clears throat> there is the lion diet. Lion is just meat, now meat of ruminant animals. So um, cows and sheep. So it's only that with um, salt and drinking water. Um, carnivore, they um, all meats and some people do animal products as well. So that would be, that would be allowed. Um, dairy, um, <clears throat> excuse me, like milk. Well, maybe not milk, but a lot of people do kefir or raw kefir, raw dairy is great. Um, and then you see animal-based out there. Now, animal-based is um, same idea with very heavy on the meats, but it also includes some fruits. So the one thing they all have in common is no vegetables. Now, as far as macros are concerned, I don't track mine. I do kind of pay attention to um, what I'm eating and how much. So I mostly will have fatty cuts of meat, steaks, um, beef, do burger patties. So I try to have at least a pound of meat a day, um, if not more. And I try to have equal that in fat or more fat. So. If I'm having, my goal would be, if I were to track macros, it would be a minimum of 130 grams. So you want to, whatever your goal weight is, or if you're in maintenance mode, whatever your weight is. So you get that weight. So my goal weight would be 130. So I would have a minimum of 130 grams of protein. And with that, I would strive to have at least 130 grams of fat, if not more. Now, everybody's body is different. Maybe you need to adjust that a little bit. I know um, carnivore, car carnivore Yogi on here, she used to do two pounds of meat a day and now she feels better eating one pound a day with like way more fat. I believe she's at like a couple hundred grams of fat maybe and maybe protein around a hundred or so if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you just kind of, you got to tweak what works for you and go by how you're feeling. Good ways to um, get more fat in, like I said, fatty cuts of meat. If you're eating something like chicken or fish that's lean or pork, uh, you know, add some butter to that um, or tallow. And something I haven't tried that I just saw recently is suet, beef suet. So I don't know exactly what that even is. I know it's a fat um that people snack on so i'm a little weary of that it sounds i don't know but I, i'm gonna try it <laughs> um but yeah you just need to find what ratio works best for you and you know what goes with your your stomach good you'll know if you have too much fat more fat than your body can absorb your stools may be a little bit loose i feel like i'm like obsessed with talking about the stools i say it on any, every video um so sorry but if you're not having enough fat then your stools will you know be harder so that's an important thing to look at um and then you can just adjust accordingly um Salt, salt is a big thing, salt everything. You want that sodium in your diet. I know with keto, you wanted to focus on salt, magnesium, and potassium, um, but since keto is allowing carbs and vegetables, I'm hearing and reading and understanding that it's not a concern this way because not having the carbs. So again, another thing to just look more into. Um, but yeah, I haven't taken any of those. I just eat a lot of salt and everything has felt fine. Um, no dairy if you're sensitive, you don't need it. Um, or you can try, try raw. A lot of people, you know, tolerate raw better or even like goat's milk can be a little um, better for sensitive uh, stomachs. Um, and yeah, you know, it's just so easy. You just, you eat when you're hungry and when you feel satiated, you stop. You know, if it becomes a chore to eat, if you're like, oh, I have to choke down this patty to hit my macros, well, don't do not do that. <laughs> I feel like all days kind of balance out themselves anyways. You know, some days you may be more hungry than others. Um, so just go with it, just ride with it. Um, I found in the very beginning, the first few weeks, I wondered if I was even eating enough. Um, and now 
now I just, I feel like I'm eating a normal amount. Um, so yeah, your hunger cues are really working when you're eating this way. Um, they, mine used to, not in the past. Um, when you're having like all those carbs, you know, your, your hunger cues aren't working. They don't know when to tell you to stop. So I've found it's very, this is such a good way to eat if you have like eating disorder, at least for me, you know, binge eating, emotional eating. I have finally found my food freedom. I have never felt better eating this way. I have so many health benefits that I have received from this, like mood, skin, energy, like I could go on and on. And I do have other videos that will explain that. Um, but yeah, I would encourage anybody now, not saying everyone should do this, not pushing anything, but if you're curious about it and you have issues that you're trying to clear up, give it 30 days. Um, my guess would be that you would feel amazing and you'd feel like a whole new person. And you know, there's other great accounts out there to follow. You know, I'm so new at this. Um, I'm just sharing what I'm learning along the way in my experience. Um, but I will put some links in the comment or not in the comment in the description, hopefully if I remember. <laughs> but if not, um, a few that I love to follow are Steak and Butter Gal. Her name is Bella. She is on YouTube and Instagram. Well, I feel like everyone is these days. Um, Dr. Paul Saladino, he his handle is Carnivore MD. Now it's like 2.0 because he got banned. Um, and his girlfriend actually started too, and she's Animal Based Bay, and she's great. Um, Dr. Sean Baker and Dr. Is it Anthony Chaffee? I'm gonna butcher everybody's names. And there's millions more. Okay, maybe not millions, but I mean, there's so many people in the um, medical space, doctors, nutritionists, you know, dietitians that eat this way. It may sound crazy, but you know, people are changing their lives eating this way. So let me know if you have any questions, if I can be of any help, and happy meat eating.